Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps has vowed revenge. It has warned Israel that it's going to be either the force or its proxies that will take direct action to avenge the killing of senior commander Sayed Reza Mosavi. Sepai Pastoran Engelov Islami Dalil in Hamla Robohubi Midune Va Eglomot and Lazem Rodar Pardok the Tavani in Earlier today, the body of Mosavi arrived in Iraq. Hundreds of mourners gathered to attend the service in a shrine. Then the coffin will travel to another religious city before being sent to Iran for burial. The journey is part of an Iranian tradition to take the body of prominent figures to the shrines of Shiite saints. On Monday, Iran said an Israeli airstrike has killed Syed Reza Mosavi, a senior commander in Iran's Revolutionary Guard Corps. He was outside Syrian capital Damascus when he was killed in an Israeli airstrike. Reports claim he was overseeing Iranian military operations in Syria. Iran's ambassador in Damascus, Hossein Akbari, said Mosavi was posted at the embassy as a diplomat and he was killed after returning home from work. Mosavi is the highest profile targeted killing since Soleiman. The former head of the Kads force. His death has sparked a huge outcry. This again raises fears of the Israel-Hamas war sparking a regional spillover. Earlier, Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant claimed the conflict is already widening and they are fighting a seven-front war. Israel is surrounded by hostile forces. Remember, Iran leads the regional axis of resistance against Israel, which along with Hezbollah includes armed proxies in Syria, Iraq and Yemen. This also includes the Houthi rebels in Yemen. They have uh, high-tech uh, equipment. They have been well-funded and supported uh, by Iran. Iran has made very clear that they are backing the, the Houthi rebels and they will not stand uh, any U.S.-led intervention in the region. So you know, this, this is not uh, going to be something that is overcome easily or simply. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.